Hey, welcome to our new series, White Belt. My name's Nick. You know, growing up, I loved martial arts movies, especially the ones with the guy who starts off kind of as like a total wimp. And by the end, he's a martial arts machine and he has the ability to take on all the bad guys doing those slow motion kicks. Those ones were the best. But it wasn't just the fighting that grabbed my interest. I love the heart behind martial arts. It was something about the strength to take on anyone and yet the discipline to not pick a fight. I love the culture of honor and yet fearlessness. Today, we're gonna watch as a couple of young people get to experience firsthand what martial arts is really all about. Tia, you would do so much better in my class if you would just do what you're supposed to. Why? What do you mean why? I'm your father, that's why. Kid, you got some talent on the court, but if you don't learn to obey the rules, all that talent's gonna go to waste. Please, would you listen to me? I don't want to fight with you. Would you just do what you're told? Uh, come on. Is it really that bad? Is it really that bad? Well, let's see. I got in trouble at school today again, and now I gotta go home and tell my dad. And I'm already grounded. Yeah, it's that bad. Could be worse. Oh yeah, how? Uh, well, I could be mad at you, and I'm not. Yeah, well that makes one of you. It just feels like everyone in the whole world is always telling me what to do. No? Yeah, well, we're kids. It goes with the territory. Master Silas Academy of Advanced Training? I wonder what that is. Hey, I'm pretty sure this wasn't here before. Must be a new place. Let's check it. No way. Last thing I need is someone else telling me what to do. Oh, come on. We'll just sneak a peek. No one will ever know we were even in there. Come on. Last one ends a rotten egg. I see you there. I don't often entertain unexpected guests. Perhaps introductions are in order. Us? Oh, we were just leaving. Yes, I see that. But perhaps there's a better way than sneaking, yes? Look, we were curious. That's all. We'll go now. Come closer. What are you doing? Come on, let's go. What is your name, son? I'm Darius. Uh, you must be Master Silas. I am. You're good. I've learned from my master, and I have practiced. And who do you have here? Tia. Darius, we got to get out of here. Tia, you're undone. Excuse me? You're undone. Look, Mr. Master, whatever your name is, I don't know what you're talking about. You think you're strong when you fight others, but you're really just tearing yourself down with your own hands. Look, you don't even know me. That may be true, but some things are evident enough. Darius, I'm leaving. Master Silas, can you teach me to do what you do? I don't offer individual lessons. I only offer classes, but you must first be accepted. How do I do it? How do I get accepted? I will guide you, but what I offer is not for everyone. Few are ready. So few are chosen. I'm ready. I know I am. Watch this. Ow! You're not ready. But you can be if you want it badly enough. You must first learn to tame yourself, control yourself. You must first learn to obey your master. Master. That means you, right? We gotta obey you. See, Darius, I told you. He's just like everyone else. He just wants to tell us what to do. When you honor your master, you will learn to honor others. When you honor others, your master is pleased. It is a circle. Look, that sounds great and all. You're a weak to you. I can help you. 
I can make you strong. Oh, make me strong, Master Silas. I'll do whatever you say. Come here. Do as I do. Very good. Return here tomorrow. We will begin promptly at four o'clock. Then I'm in? I'm in! We will see. You'll be tested. We must see if you have what it takes to begin this journey. So does that mean that I gotta wear one of those? Those are worn by students who have earned them. When a student decides to study under me, they begin with the white belt. But first, you must have what it takes. You must learn the way of the white belt. I'll show you. I will. I'll be here tomorrow, Master Silas. Very good. Now we bow to show respect for your master. And for each other. Look, this is stupid. I'm not gonna bow. Darius, let's get out of here. Bye, Mr. Master. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, did you see the way he moved? Awesome. I want to learn to move like that. Yeah, I saw. Come on. You can't tell me that you didn't think that that was cool. Look, it was cool, but I don't know what gives him the right to tell us what to do. What gives him the right? Yeah, I mean, who does he think he is? Um, well, he's Master Silas. Well, I, f I figure he's probably been doing it for a long time. So if I want to learn to be like him and move like him, I probably got to do what he says. Yeah, well, I don't get it. That whole honoring your master means honoring others, and honoring others is honoring your master, whatever that means. Well, look, I don't know if I totally get it either, but I took it all as the same thing. Like, if I want to learn to honor him and be like him, then honoring the others in class just goes with it. Fine. Honor him, honor others, do whatever you want. I've got enough problems. So, does this mean that you're not coming back with me? Yeah, I don't think so. Come on, what do you have to lose? I mean, if nothing else, you can hysterically laugh at me every single time I mess up. Cause you know I'm gonna. Yeah, I know you will. Maybe, I'll think about it. Cool. Just a moment ago, we heard Master Silas share this concept that honoring your master leads to honoring others. And likewise, that honoring others, in turn, honors your master. This sounds a little complex, so let's break it down. In the Bible, Jesus tries to explain the same idea of honor. He tells a story of how people fed him when he was hungry, how they gave him something to drink when he was thirsty, and when he didn't have any clothes, they gave him clothes, and when he was a stranger, they actually invited him in, and even when he was in prison, they came to visit him. But the weird thing was, nobody remembered literally doing these things for Jesus, so they were really confused. Then Jesus says this, Matthew 25, 40, Truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. You see, Jesus was trying to show us that as we honor other people, it actually honors Him. Our faith is not just about how we respond to Jesus, but it's also about how we respond, honor, and treat other people. But here's the catch. If you're having a hard time honoring God, your master, then chances are you're having a hard time honoring other people. But look at Darius. Why did he find it so easy to honor Master Silas? It's because he realized that he knew more than he did and he desired to be like him. It's the same thing with us and God. You know, a lot of us, we think that we have this whole life thing figured out. But chances are that the God of the universe, you know, the one who created everything, he probably knows a little bit more than us. And secondly, we have to have a desire to be more like God's son, Jesus. So here's a question. Do you ever feel like you maybe know more than God in a given situation? How do you think that that affects your ability to honor Him? Another question, who in your life do you struggle with honoring? Is it your parents? Maybe it's your teachers. Maybe even some of your friends. Final thought, know that God knows best on how we should live. So live to honor Him and to honor others.